Morning, people were out early still sweeping out the water on Miami Beach after yesterday's heavy rain caused major flooding across our area. This was the scene near Edgewater and near downtown Miami. Chief of Swords Brooke Schaefer live now with the latest in Brooke. It seems like these folks were engaged in a futile endeavor because round two is coming. Yeah, round two is coming and people here in downtown Miami are getting ready for it. Keith, I can tell you this area was hit pretty hard last night. This road was flooded just over my shoulder. You can see people are actually still pressure washing away some of what was left behind. But I also want to show you just over this way. Actually, they just laid down some fresh grass. So I'm told that the construction workers are actually going to put some pins in it, hoping that the rain later today doesn't carry their work away. Definitely staying in tonight. Lola Lopez planning on staying in tonight with more wet weather on the way. Her neighborhood in downtown Miami flooded last night. Like nobody could pass and it was like just all in the water. It was scary. Oh my God. This is what it looked like from the balcony of the Gabriel Hotel, Northeast 11th Street and Biscayne Boulevard. The street underwater and some cars stranded. Yeah, they got it. They got it. This morning on that same street, a mess to clean up. The downpour leaving behind a muddied and grassy road. Over in Miami Beach this morning, most of the city was dry, but some people were still pushing out water from the night before. The entrance to this parking garage on Collins and 36th Street covered in water thanks to Thursday night's downpours. And Keith, tonight is expected to be another busy night downtown. There is a Mark Anthony concert over at the FTX Arena just down the street from where we are standing. A lot of people expected to come out for that. People here downtown sort of bracing for what's to come later today. I'm live in downtown Miami. Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4 News. Wow, things could get real interesting. All right, Brooke, thank you.